It was aired on the radio, on TV, and printed on all newspapers that, after decades, lying still over the refrigerators in dark and lonely kitchens, with no one to play or talk to, the refrigerator penguins had finally decided to rebel. Throughout the planet, all the penguins started to get off their fridge stands, abandoning their dull little kitchens and taking over the great cities of the world. Rome, Paris, Rio, New York, Cairo, Tokyo, all the great metropolises were invaded by millions of lonely penguins ready to have fun after so many years of privation and boredom. After a few days in revelry, the penguins started to feel bored and decided to go back to their homeland. Great caravans crammed with those sweet little pets set out to the South Pole. Having reached their native land, they gave free rein to their happiness and reveled in joy and celebration for days on end. Then, as a road, back to sweet normality, to the good times before their confinement upon old fridges. One day a human being emerged on the horizon and the penguins were quite alarmed. However, they soon realized the poor little man was way more terrified to be surrounded by so many millions of penguins. One of the little penguins hastily set him upon his refrigerator. Next day, another human being showed up. This time it was a little woman who was immediately placed on the refrigerator. And that went on until eventually every human to hit that frozen land was immediately settled on a flip. Once upon that land, it rained cats and dogs, and after that terrible storm, there shined out such a glorious sun, and over that entire land of ice, there spread a beautiful rainbow. So magical was the atmosphere that it stirred the heart and soul of a certain penguin poet. And he felt such compassion for those poor beings lying on those mute fridges. He made up his mind to gather his people on an assembly and said, Dear friends, we all know what it is to spend all those years in absolute stillness in somber, bleak kitchens. I think we cannot do the same to those poor human souls. A little group of penguins was not quite convinced about his ideas and argued that they were just giving their own back. But the great majority in the assembly agreed that they had to set them free. And that's how the poor little devils were able to get happily back home again. Bye.